Hello, so today I wanted to do a quick uh, review of this here, which is the Audio Technica ATHM40X. So these are professional studio monitor headphones. So I got them because they were on a pretty good sale price, and I had been previously using these here, which are which are the Super Lux HD 681s. So these are pretty comfortable, and you can wear them for long periods of time, and they don't hurt your head. Um, but they are semi-open, so when you are recording with these, um, they're not really good for vocals because the sound of what you're listening to, like the backing track, is going to come through on the recording. So when I saw that these were on sale, the Audio Technicas, I grabbed them and I have actually been enjoying them quite a lot. They're very high quality. They fold up really small, as you can see, and they come with their own little padded bag as well. The folding mechanism is pretty quick and solid and you can also wear them with one ear off like this for example because they have a lot of flexibility they can rotate 180 degrees and they have a lot of stretch in them as well so you could potentially use these for DJing as well and the headband is pretty comfortable I've been able to wear them for several hours without much discomfort, although uh, the top part, if it's not adjusted enough, can start to press down on your head. So make sure that you adjust the sides so that it's not pressing too hard down on the top of your head. So it does surround your entire ear and it is closed back. So when you're recording audio with a backing track, especially for vocals, these are really good for that. Now the actual response of these is pretty nice and flat. I've seen some people say that it actually is even better than the M50s, which are the step up uh, and the more popular kind of studio headphones. But I found these to be pretty good. If you can go ahead to an audio shop and try both of them out, I would suggest doing that. But I ordered these ones not having tested them and I found them to be really comfortable. And it is a pretty flat response. The bass is not too heavy and the highs aren't too high, so it is a pretty flat response if you wanted to use them for studio mixing, for example. Now if I do just quickly compare them here to the Sony WH-1000XM4, these are active noise cancelling headphones. Um, you'll see these ones have a slightly slimmer profile. So when you wear these ones, it, it doesn't stick out quite as much. Um, but obviously these ones are for um, noise cancelling and they're not really for studio mixing. They have a bit more heavy on the bass end. Now these are pretty good with their passive noise cancelling. I've noticed that you can play the drums, for example, with these ones and the outside noises don't leak in. in uh, I'm not sure exactly the decibel amount, but uh, it does a really good job of passive noise cancellation. Now one thing I really liked about these is that they come with a removable and replaceable uh, headphone cable. Um, this one is a proprietary cable, um, so you will have to buy it from them or find aftermarket ones that fit this particular headphone, um, but it is really good. So in the actual box you do get two different types of headphone cable and a, an adapter to plug it into studio interfaces. You also do get a little carry bag and obviously the headphones. So you get a straight normal cable, which is quite long. You also get this one here, which is like a coiled cable. Now I found this one really nice. It's like those old telephone cables, um, but it's really good so that you can plug it into your studio monitor or your laptop or whatever you're plugging it into. And then if you just step away a little bit, it actually stretches out pretty far and then it stretches straight back. So for recording and everything like that, I've found this coil cable is actually really nice and um, one of the points of this headphones that I really enjoyed. I'm not sure that the lower version, the M30s, have that and I don't think the M30s have the removable uh, audio cable either. So overall, um, a really nice pair of headphones and I would definitely recommend checking them out if you're after a pair of studio headphones that are closed back and have a nice flat response for mixing. Um, if you can get them on sale especially, um, then I would say definitely go ahead and check them out. I will also be later doing a review of these, the HD618 semi-open Superlux headphones. 
Um, so do subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. But yeah, overall, um, definitely go ahead and check these out if you're in the market for some new headphones.